everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to share with you a perfect summer recipe i'm talking about tiramisu it is definitely one of my favorite summer desserts it's totally refreshing and i'm doing an easier version of it it's without the eggs it's done under half hour and you need to refrigerate it for an hour or two and you can eat it it's very easy and simple i believe anyone can make it also, if you're looking for a perfect summer refreshment, definitely stay tuned till the end because I have a bonus recipe with you. And if you want to learn how to, how to make homemade iced coffee, definitely stay tuned till the end. Also, if you want to make muffins, I have a recipe for you. It's going to pop up in the cards up here and definitely check it out. Okay, so that's it for the intro and moving on to the recipe. Before we start, I wanted to show you my homemade vanilla sugar. I'm going to put just a little bit into regular sugar for the flavor of our cream. And if you want to learn how to make homemade vanilla sugar, I'm going to leave the recipe in the description down below. We are going to start by whipping the cream. I'm using heavy whipping cream. It's better for the flavor and thicker consistency. And now I'm gonna add sugar. I'm using hand mixer because I don't wanna overbeat whipping cream. It's very easy to overbeat whipping cream and that's why I'm gonna use hand mixer. Now, when our cream reached stiff peaks stage, it's time to add mascarpone cheese. Once you add mascarpone cheese, you don't want to mix too much, but just enough that all ingredients are combined. And always make sure to clean the edges with the spatula and if you see that you need to mix one more time, always do it. I am going to use instant coffee. You can choose any kind of coffee that you want, but it is very important that you leave your coffee to cool down before you dip lady fingers in the coffee. I'm going to make thermistor in this plastic container to prevent thermistor picking up the smells from the fridge. Even though we do store our food properly, thermistor can easily pick up the smells from the fridge and I don't want that to happen. Now we're quickly going to dip and turn our lady fingers in the coffee. You have to be careful, you don't want to over dip your lady fingers because it can be a total disaster. Once you've done a row of your lady fingers, you're going to put cream over, over them and spread it. repeat the process and put another layer of ladyfingers and cream on top of them. We are going to use our fork to simply decorate our tiramisu and we are going to put cocoa powder over it, it's going to look magical. With leftover cream I decided to do our tiramisu glasses. It's very simple to make. You repeat the same process as we did before, but you put the cream and lady fingers in small glasses.
Also, I wanted to share with you a very simple way to decorate your plate if you're going to have guests over, friends or family. This is a very simple way to make your dessert look fancy. And this is our finished product. As I promised on the beginning of this video, I'm going to share with you how to make amazing and delicious iced coffee at home. So, my husband is using stracciatella cappuccino powder and cold milk. You should use any kind of cappuccino powder that you like and cold milk. And then you blend it. You add some ice and ice cream and blend it again. Top it off with a whipping cream. You can hear Amanola in the background and enjoy your iced coffee. I hope that you enjoyed this tiramisu recipe. I love it. It's one of our family favorites. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel for more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.